Namaste, and Shubhi Mathur, and I welcome you back on the part two episode of the finale of this Kiki Dai series. In last week's video, we heard how Prachi quit her journalism career and started pursuing her passion, and how things fell in place. How the universe conspired to give her what she wanted. So let us continue to hear from Prachi and get inspired to follow our dream. And when did the transition from a student to the Kathak teacher happen? Like when did you, you know, join the institute and took charge of their marketing, started teaching the students there? When did this happen? So um, after I quit NETV, I was uh, I did a short stint. on a documentary so i was doing you know freelance work after that and that's when uh, uh, the founder of our institution our director seema bidhi uh, she asked me that since you're taking a career break and you're you know between jobs why don't you uh, work on building the school because it's just yeah. newly started so uh, so i've learned all my marketing and uh, on the field on the job but all is true and yeah, yeah. yeah. And here I am, twelve years uh, with the institution. Uh, wow! Dancing, uh, working uh, as marketing and communications in charge. In 2017, Tima Devi asked me if uh, I would like to start teaching and uh, open a branch in the suburbs of Mumbai because till then the school was limited to South Bombay. Hmm. At first, I was like, you know, I can't teach. I have never taught, and I can't. Yeah, teach. I'm here to learn, and I'm very happy to learn. Yeah. Uh, but she said, "Give it a shot," and I think that was the best, uh, the best thing she offered me because how much I have learned after I started teaching, absolutely cannot be compared to my years before that. Teaching is the best way to learn, and many teachers will say that, and it's absolutely true. So from 2017, I started teaching. So Prachi, how was this transition from a student to a teacher? You had two kids by then. 2017 was the year when you became a teacher, and the same year came up with not so pleasant news on the health front. You were diagnosed with cancer. Cancer का नाम सुनते ही हम सब डर जाते हैं, काब जाते हैं, and you were dealing with it with something new on the professional front as well. Now, usually, people just take a break. They focus on themselves, focus on their treatment. So, how did you deal with this chapter of your life? Uh, 17. I started teaching early 2017, yeah. and uh, in September 2017, uh, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, the timing of the diagnosis was also, you know, quite uh, interesting. I would say because we were preparing for uh, a show called the where the entire uh, dance group was going to perform, and it was collaboration with another school. It was at NCP at that time, and uh, all through the rehearsals, I was feeling. That you know, uh, something is off. I was getting very breathless, uh, faster than usual. Three, two days before the show, uh, the cancer diagnosis came. Wow! Well, I was it like, okay, so this is it. And uh, of course, initially it was a big shock, and uh, I did go through all the you know uh, everything that one would expect when it comes to you know bad health. Like first of all, being scared, the fear you can't see that many people are with me, and I can't see. I'm a bit depressed, maybe, or you know, I uh, lost hope. Uh, all of that happened initially, but I would say that this is again a place where I want to mention specifically that because I was dancing, and uh, it was through the dance that actually somehow I also realized that something was not right internally. Because if I was uh, not dancing or doing something so physical. I would not know uh, because that word hai under. So in a way that we there also dance is really hit. And after the diagnosis, also of course I couldn't uh, dance. You know all the energy and all the you know full energy way that I would have liked to. Uh, but through the treatment, I made sure that um, I kept it in touch with the dance this way or that. When the chemotherapy would happen, and I would be low on energy and you know dealing with the side effects. Uh, I listened to classical music. I did a lot of recitation. I you know kept revising the composition that I couldn't dance, but I could recite. And that I must say that Chandan Nitya Bharti has created this beautiful sisterhood of teachers, students, and you know dancers around me. So we we were all there for me. My family was there for me. My friends were there for me. So cancer was in a way uh, 
I'm dying for me to really respect and value everything that I have in life rather than sit and regret what I have done. Because I wouldn't have discovered, uh, you know, these deep friendships and the compassionate nature of so many people around me. So oh, it was really a time for, uh, you know, positive introspection and self-discovery. And I think uh, it's a cliche when people say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But I did experience that uh, during that phase of uh, my cancer treatment. That, uh, ha, it's a reality. I have to accept the fact. If I need to cry and be bad about it. I should do it. Feel whatever I need to feel, but then look at you know I still have so much of my life, and this is not time to value it. So really, how does it feel to live in the moment and to make the most of what you have now? All of this I actually uh, learned and experienced during my cancer journey, and dance really helped me ground myself, become emotionally and mentally more stable. So Prachi, you have this wonderful attitude of gratitude, I would say. You didn't go in a self-pity mode that you know why it happened to me at this point when life offered something new. I have two kids, and but you know you took it in a very positive stride. The whole ecosystem around you, the work colleagues, the family, friends, everyone supported you. And uh, this was the time when I met you for the first time. You had almost got done with your treatment, and uh, I still remember how positive and how you know. You spread such positive vibes. You have such a pleasant aura around you. And during one of our conversations, you mentioned that you know you are undergoing uh, chemotherapy, and I was amazed by the positivity you had. And then when you told me you are a dancer, you teach Kathak, I was in complete awe. I said, you know, this is it. How beautifully Kathak has helped her to come out of it, to pull it out, and given her so much positivity. Art really. Teaches you to develop a different perspective towards life. That's what I realized uh, that Katha gave me. Whether it was dealing with illness, whether it was dealing with physical or emotional, you know, ups and downs in life, um, art tells you that you know there are so many different perspectives to look at the same thing. And finally, your experience is your perspective, the one that you chose. You know, a situation is a situation. What you make of it depends on you. I have seen your performances. I have seen you curating the events, and your love, passion clearly reflects in everything. So you think Katha is your Ikhi guy? Do you think that you know this journey has made you find your Ikhi guy, or it is a passion? What is it? What do you feel about it? I'll tell you a couple of things that I have discovered about myself. Yes. Uh, because of the way events have turned in my life. I realized that I am somebody who uh, believes that being a student of life is really the purpose of life. Uh, whether it is knowledge or it is skill or it is just how to live your life, if what you are doing is constantly teaching you that, then it is the book. It is the right thing. Um, making a shift in careers, taking on dance as a profession. Uh, Have all been very unconventional choices. Mm. Uh, things that many people questioned. My uh, my family also questioned. Like mm. you know, to make that such job so real. Or when I dance, that if the hobby is, then I must spend my time there. You know, is me what is it? Like is me future? What is progress? What is it? But every time I've thought to myself that all of these decisions, these twists and turns in life, have taught me how to live life, how to deal with this. How to deal with uncertainties? Uh, how to embrace new ideas? How to be inspired by others? And how share all this experience that you have gained in your life, however short or long it is, uh, to benefit and impact somebody else's life? So I have now started wondering whether you know this is truly what I always was looking for when I was looking for meaning in my life. Uh, I got the opportunity today. I have the opportunity to work with young girls, you know, uh, young girls who are so impressionable, uh, who are at an age where somebody teaching them the importance and the value of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual strength through art, through dance. I think it's a privilege that I have been offered, you know, to get that kind of a chance. The number of little young lives that I am impacting through my work. Uh, if this is not meaningful, then what else? Would have been meaningful in my life. So every time I look at what 
what I have been able to learn from my own experience, uh, I feel like my Ikigai guys, I have joy in learning and sharing what I learn. And if that is impacting even one life, then I think that is that is the purpose. And what other purpose do I need? You know. If I talk particularly about Kathak, ki baat karu, is dance form ne mujhe kai cheeze sikhai hai the importance and the value of discipline, um, yeah. the value of putting in hard work uh, without thinking of a result. Performance ho ya na ho, koi apko dekhne wala ho ya na ho, audience ho ya na ho, riyaz karna hai, you karna hai because that is your commitment to yourself and that is your commitment to the art form that is being handed over to you. So, Kajak ne mujhe ye sab sikhaya hai how to respond to a situation completely improvise on the spot. Uh, these things add so much value to your life even off the dance floor. So, somewhere I feel like if you talk about Ikigai, if that is finding purpose, then Katha definitely has helped me find my purpose. Whether it itself is the purpose or not, I don't think I will ever know. Because yeah. I feel honestly that as your life moves through different stages and phases, uh, your purpose can also change and grow. Yeah. And you should learn to adapt. But Kaitha teaches you how to adapt. So in that sense, yes, it is definitely connected to my life. It gave you a direction. This I would say. It gave you the direction. Where to head to, what to look for and you know, you could identify yes. move better, yeah. So Prachi, in the end, what message do you have for our viewers? And especially for the viewers who are in their late 20s or early 30s, you know, who are in the rat race of just performing, just going behind numbers, achieving their targets, running behind packages. So what message do you have for them? I have a very simple message that I live by and I have uh, cultivated that outlook for myself which is uh, don't let the fear of failure stop you from doing something or not doing something. Failure is not something There is only learning. We judge ourselves too harshly by some very set parameters that society has set for us. That success means wealth, success means uh, fame, success means X number of people know you or you have a certain status in society or in the community. You live one life. And it's a collection of experiences and each experience is equally valuable. Each experience enriches you in a different way. So, failure uh, is Yeah, you succeed in what you're doing as per your idea of success or you've learned something from that experience. And when you're ready to leave this world, if you look back and you feel that I did all these things and I enjoyed them while I did them, then who has to say that, you know, your life was not? So Prachi, thank you so much for this insightful talk. Keep experimenting, keep exploring, keep introspecting. This is life and this will certainly lead you to find or identify with your Ikigai. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here.